Hello everyone and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create these golf balls as you can see over here. I'll be using Blender version 2.72b for this. I use an add-on which added polysphere. So let's create this. So open a Blender and start a new scene. So this is the default scene in Blender. We're gonna activate the add-on which is known as add mesh extra objects add-on so to activate it come in the file menu and then select user preferences and from the add-ons tab and select this add mesh option here and then activate this add mesh extra objects by checking it once when you have done that you can close this box now delete this default cube by pressing x and then delete now press shift a and then from mesh select polysphere this is a sphere which has a different type of vertices other than the UV sphere and it's a smooth and sphere drag out this panel and select the modifier tab and from add modifier select subdivision surface modifier change this value of the view to 2 now from the view menu select view perspective orthographic to go into the orthographic view from the view menu again select front view to go into the front view now let us edit this polysphere so that we get that circle kind of pattern which you can see in this image. So come in the edit mode and then press Alt E and then select individual faces. This will extrude individual faces and hold down shift then you can move your arrow near the origin so that you get these light circles like this. Uh, once when you have done that, press E to extrude once and then escape. Now press Alt S, then hold down Shift and move your arrow near the origin again so that you get a bit of depth in all the circles. Once when you have done that, you can come out of the object mode. Now get a basic shape of the golf ball. You can apply this modifier, the subdivision surface modifier. From the view menu, come in the front view and you can just move the polysphere or the golf ball above the x-axis using the blue arrow. From the view menu, select right view to go to the right view and move this ball to the left of the z-axis using the green arrow. Now press shift D to duplicate a uh, ball and then uh, press Y for the y-axis and then move it to the right of the z-axis now you can press R and rotate your ball in different axes just to give it a random kind of feeling do this for both the balls so that it looks a bit different from each other yeah so once when you have done that let's add the floor for our scene. So press Shift A and then from Mesh you can select Plane. From the View menu select Front to go into the Front view and scale it by pressing S and then 100 and then Enter. Now zoom out and delete the default lamp by pressing X and then Delete. Now we are going to add a plane as a lamp so press Shift A and then from Mesh select Plane. Scale this plane so press S and then 2 and then Enter. Now move this plane using the blue arrow above these balls over here and rotate it by pressing R and then X for X axis and 45 for 45 degrees and then enter. Now come in the view menu and select right. Now you can move this plane near the camera so that the light is being focused from this side. Now you can start adding the materials. So let's start by adding the material for this ball over here. So click on new and change this blender render over here to cycles render. Now click on the use nodes button. Change the surface type to mix shader. And we are going to change the first shader as diffuse. And the second shader as glossy. Change this ggx value here to beckman. And you can change this roughness also. We want complete glossiness so change this to zero. Now change this FAC value over here to 0 0.2 so that we have more diffuse shader. Now change this diffuse shader color to a much lighter white color. 
so that we get complete white. Now name this material white. Once when you have done that, select the other ball by right clicking on it and click on the small button and then select the white material. Now right click on the plane or the floor to select it and then click new in the materials tab and change the color. I'm going to use a dark green color so I'm going to use a hex code for that. Type in the code double one eight one double zero. This will give a dark green color. Now let's add the material for the plane or the lamp. Now see. So select the plane by right clicking on it and then click new and you can change the surface type over here to emission and change the emission amount. I'm going to use 15. Now come in the worlds tab and change the worlds color. You can use any color but I think black looks good. Now let's save our project. So from the file menu I'm just going to select save and I'm going to save my project. I'm going to name this golf ball.blend and then select save by the file option. Now from the view menu select camera and you can just set up the camera view now. Press N to open properties window and check lock camera to view option here. Now you can set up your camera view by zooming in and panning the view like this. So once when you have done that, you can come in this viewport shading menu and then select render just to see how it will actually look like. So I think it's kind of fine. So let's render it. So change this mode back to solid. And I'm again going to save my project. So press Ctrl S and then select this. Now come in the renders tab. Come down and then from the sampling section, choose the number of render samples to much higher value. I'll be using about 150 samples for my project. Now click on this render button here. So the rendering has finished and this is the final image. So the golf ball has got a distinct texture or the circle kind of texture. And if you would have used the UV sphere for that, it, would, it wouldn't be so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.